In this video, we will go over the second game of the December 2015 LSAT, which states exactly six of eight ceramic bowls, each crafted by exactly one of eight potters, Larson, Mills, Neiman, Oliveira, Park, Regal, Sierra, and Vance, will be displayed in a row in positions consecutively numbered one through six, one bowl per position. Okay, so first let's draw out our base. We know that we are selecting six of eight variables, and our variables are L, M, N, O, P, R, S, and V. And again, we are picking six of eight. We are going to line up the six that we select in sequential order, numbered one through six. So that will be our in-group, and then we have our out group, two variables that are not going to be selected. So this is an in-out game with sequencing. So it's actually a hybrid game. So now that we have our base, let's turn our attention to the conditions. The first condition states, if Larson's bowl is displayed, Mill's bowl cannot be displayed. So we know if we have Larson, then Mill's is out. Contrapositive, if we have Mill's, Larson is out. That leads to a deduction here. We know that there are a number of possibilities. Either L is in, M is out, M is in, L is out, or both M and L are out, which means we can conclude for sure that one of M or L is missing. So we know one of M or L is out, possibly both. And again, that's because the first condition here is a not both rule. Turning our attention to the second condition, which states, Park's bowl can be displayed only if it is next to Oliveira's bowl and next to Sierra's bowl. So if Park is in, we're going to have this block where P is sandwiched by S and O. The contrapositive would be if we do not have this block, P is out. There's a very important deduction to be made here. Notice what happens if S were out or if O were out. Let's just place S out. If S is out, we know now who the two variables who are absent are. One of M or L and S, which means that P must be in. But if P is in, we need both S and O to be present. So S cannot be out. Same exact logic applies to O. If O is out, well, we know P is in. And if P is in, we need both S and O, but O is out. So that tells us that O can't be out either. So that leads to a huge deduction here that S and O must be selected. Turning our attention now to the third condition, which tells us Regal's bowl can be displayed only in either position one or position six. So we know that Regal is either going to be in one or six, which means Regal can't be second, third, fourth, or fifth. Moving on to the fourth condition, Sierra's bowl cannot be displayed in either position two or four. So we know that means if we have Sierra, Sierra can't be in two and it cannot be in four. So Sierra is not going to be in two, not going to be in four, which tells us that P cannot appear third because notice if P was third, we would have to have S appear in either second or fourth and that would violate the fourth condition, so P can't be third. And our last condition here, Neiman's bowl can be displayed only in position five, so we know that if we have Neiman present, Neiman is fifth. So that tells us that N can't be first, second, third, fourth, or sixth. And that would be the setup for this game. Now again, the key deduction here that S and O must be present. If you're unable to make that deduction, not a huge deal here because you, as you will see, you're still able to progress through the game and actually as you arrive at question number 11, you're going to be forced to make this deduction if you haven't made it already. So now that we have our setup, we have our deductions, let's turn our attention to the questions.